Hey guys, it's Lynn. Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to take you step by step on how to use a cushion compact. So as I mentioned in my KCON LA vlog, I did sit in on an Aritam workshop where the makeup artist took us really in depth and really explained to us how to use a cushion compact so that we could take advantage of all of the benefits. So I want to share that with you before I forget everything and I'm also going to complete the look with this natural everyday makeup. So if you are interested in learning more, then keep on watching. Today I'm going to try the Iope Air Cushion in the shade C23 which is the light beige color and I did get C21 as well but that one's slightly paler so I chose this one to try on today and I'm going to be applying it on my bare face so I'm not wearing any makeup right now I wanted to see how this would react with my natural skin texture and also see what the coverage really is like So here's a sponge and I know this is something I have been guilty of I always used to tap several times or I would like dig into it and really like press my fingers into the sponge and that actually is really bad because then the foundation gets onto this top section over here and it gets really dirty and nasty and it's really wasteful but what you should be doing is taking the sponge right here on the middle and you just tap a couple times in the middle so tap, tap, and you see the product is all neatly in the center of the sponge. Extra step right here, you can't forget this, I learned this and this was such a new thing for me as well. So this is like how am I going to get an even distribution when the product is all in the middle. What you do is after you've tapped the product onto the sponge, you put it back on here and you just lightly, don't put any pressure, but you just lightly just twist. Right, so tap and twist. Then you'll see the product isn't all bunched up, but there's a nice even light layer all around the sponge. So I'm starting from the center of my face. And just tap, tap, tap. Tap, tap, tap. You always want to start in the center of your face because if you start on the outside, we kind of have a tendency to kind of build up wherever we start. So if you start from the outside, with a lot of product, you're just gonna make your face look like it's pale all across, which is gonna make it look a lot flatter. So you always wanna start from the center and kind of will it work your way out. So this is pretty good coverage and I've covered most of my face, but for eyes, I learned at the workshop that because your eye skin is really thin and sensitive compared to the rest of your face, you don't wanna pick up more of the product than just really pile up the makeup on there. You just want to take what's left over on your sponge and lightly tap on the air eye area and that's going to provide you with just enough coverage for this natural look. Tap, 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 tap. Let's do a close-up of the skin just with the CC cushion on, no extra concealer or anything like that. And I feel like this gives me really nice natural coverage. So you can still see some blemishes and moles and freckles here and there. But I like that it kind of just looks like this is my natural skin. And it doesn't look like I've piled on a whole lot of foundation. I also like that it doesn't feel like a lot of makeup. It does feel like I'm just wearing maybe some sunblock or something like that. I also like that it's not super matte or super dewy. It's just kind of in between. So it does feel like my natural skin yeah I could totally see myself wearing this for an everyday natural makeup look so I really like this and I'm just gonna finish off this look with some natural looking makeup and I'm gonna do a little bit of shading and I'll list all the products down below so you guys can take a look at that I'm just gonna shade along the outer perimeter of my face just to create a little bit more depth. Remember, we don't want our face to look flat. It's just gonna make it look a lot whiter. So I'm just applying a little bit of this shading powder from Pony Effect on the outer areas just to give my face some more dimension, just a little bit, because I still wanna keep this look really natural. Next, I'm taking the Benefit Goof Proof Pencil to fill in my natural brow shape. And for eyeshadow, I'm gonna take the Arita Mono Eyes number 41 Cashmere. It's a shimmery pink eyeshadow. I'm gonna pick up with my finger and I'm just gonna apply it on the center of my eyelids. 
And to create some depth, I'm gonna take the Clear Pro Single Shadow in Just a Dream. It's a brown shimmery eyeshadow with a brush. I'm gonna apply it just on the outer corner and along my sangapur, so my eyelid crease, just to create some more depth right over here. Remember, this is supposed to be a nice um, everyday look, so I don't want it to be too strong or anything. I'm gonna keep it pretty close to my lash line and within my crease. I don't want to go too high, I just want it to look like nice um, and just kind of emphasize my eyes. And then I'm going to take a blending brush just to um, blend out those harsh lines and make it look more natural and blended. And I'm going to apply a little bit of highlight on the lower lid and inner corner. Just to make the eyes pop and to emphasize that egg yolk cute factor. I'm going to finish off the eyes by just tight lining and then applying some mascara. And I'm gonna finish off the look with some blush. This is a pretty coral pink color. Just on the apples. And some pink lip gloss. And that completes this look, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed that tutorial and found it helpful. If you liked it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe for more videos. And also leave me a comment down below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye! <laughs> I just finished getting ready for the day, so I'm gonna head out to grab some lunch with a friend before heading to the last day of KCON!